Hello, brothers and sisters. Yes, it's me again, Brian, coming to you from Colorado. So much things to say right now. So much things to say. Well, a friend did a video on the flat earth talking about how absurd it is. And another friend says, well, it's in the Bible, and that's why people probably believe that or something to that effect. And I asked my friend, where's that at? And then I realized that's uncool because I'm inviting them to a conflict because they, they said something and I'm disagreeing with them. So I don't want to do that. So I, I take back that request, uh, good friend. No need to respond or anything. I got it. So I went out and I found some of these uh, people that believe the earth is flat because it says so in the Bible. And uh, these people are reading the Bible without uh, understanding what's going on in the Hebrew of the Bible. They're taking the English and just assuming it is what it is. And they're taking it literally from the English. Take the Bible literally. But you literally need to figure out what the Jews were talking about if they were, when they wrote the Old Testament. And you need to figure out what the Greeks were talking about when they wrote the New Testament. These words have different meanings, people. I can't stress that enough. When I went to Europe in 1988, I was in a bar and a guy walked up and asked me for a fag. I was like, what did you just say to me, pal? Well, in England, they call a cigarette a fag. Well, we know what a fag is here in the United States, brothers and sisters, so I was perplexed. Ends of the earth. And this is one excuse they use, that there are ends of the earth. In Job and other places where the ends of the earth is used, it's to denote where firma, terra firma, which is earth, meets water. That will be your end. So if you live on the coast, in some biblical passages, you live at the ends of the earth because the earth literally ends and goes into the ocean sorry i'm not trying to be snippy but people just got to pay attention man they develop web pages around this and they didn't even research it and it also means on the other side of so i guess that could be on the other side of the flat earth or it could be on the other side of the world which would be about twelve thousand five hundred miles away that's about as far away as you can get to the other end of the globe that's the other side is it not the four corners this one this is really easy to figure out. There's only two definitions for the word that means that the, the, the scribes use for corners. And it's quarters. When used in conjunction with four, it means your four directions. The four corners is used in Revelations. And what happens in the next two, next two sentences? No, they're, not even, they're the same sentence. It's a comma. And then it talks about the winds. Where do the winds come from? They come from the four directions. So there's your four corners. The foundations of the earth has three meanings depending on where it's used at. When it's talking about building your solid house, they're using that word, foundation. When they're talking about these foundations of the earth, it means the basis of the earth and the strength of the earth. It doesn't mean the four corner foundation like you put your house on. It means basis and strength. That relates to the pillars. The pillar means where it stands. When you read these, these are in Job primarily. And when you read those in the context of the entire story, Father's jacking up the firmament, which he set. Only Father can change that, and he's telling Job he's about to change it. Or he does change it. I can't. I have to go back and read it again. But that's where the pillars are. We're in a set orbit. It's 365 days, 0.25. Only Father can change that. It's set. It's immovable. That can't be changed. Where it stands not supporting pillars like in front of an old slave plantation with the big pillars out front in front of the earth. That pillar is where it stands of the earth. Where does the earth stand? Is it in its orbit? Is it standing in the right spot or is it out of its orbit? That's the pillars of the earth. The unshakable, not movable earth. Again, that is not shakable because it was set by God. It is a reference to earth's place in the heavens because it talks about him hiding the sun and doing things with the various constellations. In this same one, Father controls the heavens. The earth is unshakable and unmovable in its orbit, but we do move. We move around the sun, and we spin around in a circle because we're a globe. The spinning around a big globe. Every aspect from the cellular level all the way to the galaxy level, you see the globe. You see the circle. And you can see in numbers that they divide things with SOS, which is 60, S-O-S-S, -S. that's how you measure a globe. Why would they need to know in the 1400s how to measure it? 1400 B.C., why would they need to know how to measure a globe, people, if they thought the world was flat? Come on now. The last thing, I didn't put it here, but the last thing was, is uh, Satan took Jesus in Matthew 4, 8, and flew him to the top of a mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and people said, well, you, there, the earth had to be flat for him to be on a mountain to see all the kingdoms of the world. Well, when you look up that word of mountain, that particular one in that passage of 4.8, it's an obscure, obsolete meaning of mountain. It doesn't actually mean 
a big huge pile of rocks going up into the sky. It means to be lifted, it's a verb, to be lifted off the ground as in a bird. So Satan or Lucifer, whoever it was, he's an angel, right? How fast can they fly around the world? You know, it wasn't like Jesus was sitting on a mountain. He was up in the air as high as a mountain, as like a bird and a verb. So, you know, I mean, if you're really going to try and get some science out of the Bible, which it's there, you're going to have to dig into the actual Bible itself. You can't take these English words that were put there by scribes that have been changed and whatever. You have to go back to what the original was this was written in. It's not hard to do. Strong's Concordance, e-sword.com. You can look them all up. It tells you what breaketh means. To snap, the tempest, the storm. You see, it's just simple stuff, people. It's really easy to look this stuff up, man. And this here's one of the pages I was at. This guy's like totally mocking Christianity. Four quarters, you people are fucking idiots. Why, we're the fucking idiots, dude? Really? Seriously? I know what this stuff really means. Ooh, 666. Three is righteous. Ooh. Cleanse to clear the self. Righteous. Clear self, huh? Uh, what do you know about that? Clear yourself. But yeah. Gotta look into it, people. You really do. Got to do the research no matter what you're researching. Always got to do the research. This half-assed shit don't cut it no more. We're in a new world, brothers and sisters. Peace.